Hello students, it's Mr. Belay, and I'm here to teach you a nice watercolor project using shapes and colors. Um, this, you finally have to use your art supply kit that I sent home with you. Um, so if you look at this art supply kit, there's a few different supplies in there. One of them that you're gonna use, well, the ones you're gonna use today, watercolor paints. Um, they do come with a brush, but I put an extra brush in there, which I'm a big fan of. So you gotta look in that bag to find those watercolor paints and the brush. There's also papers in there. Um, you can just pull out a white piece of paper for this project. There we go. Um, now, to show you this project, you're gonna need a little bit more though. You're gonna need some water. It's a watercolor paint. Um, I used a little yogurt cup, put some water in it, um, but maybe you could talk to a grown up, you know, get a, you know, some kind of cup. Hey, that's a good one. Uh, to put some water in, not a big deal, um, but you're gonna need water for this project. I also like to have like a little napkin, little paper towel or something on hand, just so I can wipe my brush off and clean it if I need it. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna switch this uh, view so you can look at the paper and watch me paint. Uh, and then you're gonna be painting your own project. Now, I was just thinking shapes and colors. Um, that's awesome, but if you're just, I don't wanna paint shapes and colors, maybe you could paint something else. I'll be okay with that too. If you wanna try to paint a puppy dog or something, hey, that's your prerogative, you can go for it. Um, but I'm gonna show you painting some shapes and some colors for this one. Um, and I would call this one an abstract artwork. Doesn't look like anything. Abstract art doesn't have to. Abstract, abstract art can just be shapes, designs, colors. Um, it's representational art that looks like stuff. Like, oh, I painted a puppy dog. That's representational. I'm just going abstract with this one. All right, so um, let me switch your views and you can watch, uh, watch the, the painting happen. Okay, students, let's get started on our watercolor painting here of our abstract shapes. So I got myself set up with my paper. I have all my paints here. It does come with a brush. I'm just not a huge fan of the brush that it comes with. I like using this brush better. This is a flathead brush, just nice quality. This is a rounded tip brush, which is also good, but I don't like that one. Uh, remember with watercolor paints, you gotta get water on them to make them work. I'm gonna start out with the black. So I'm actually gonna dip my brush in the water and start mixing it into the black paint there. I'm gonna zoom in some, let's see. So you wanna get that paint to suck up that water. There it goes. So you only gotta swirl it around a, bu a bunch. Zoom back out here. Yeah, there we go. All right, so I got, um, I got the paint on there. Let's paint some shapes. Um, I can do like a nice triangle. Oh, cool. Remember, triangles have three sides. And triangles can come in different shapes too. You can make them wider or smaller or skinnier or bigger. And you'll learn about the different names for those shapes as you go. Um, oh yeah, let's paint some more shapes. I want some of my shapes to overlap each other though. Let's see, I'm gonna try for a, a big square, let's see. Squares have four sides. And the trick of the square is that all four sides are equal, meaning they're the same. I'm not gonna break out a ruler or nothing to measure these, but I think this basically looks like a square. Cool. Um, so I don't wanna spend all day painting this. I want you to have time to paint your painting. So I'll add one more shape, but you kids can just fill this up. Do all kinds of cool shapes on there. Um, I'm gonna go with like an oval, let's see. Oval's basically a circle, but it's kind of stretched out. All right, there's my oval. Cool. Now remember, anytime you switch colors, clean your brush off. So I gotta clean it off. My water's gonna start looking dirty. I got a little paper towel so I can wipe my brush off and stuff. So yeah, now I got my brush way cleaner. I can switch colors. Um, you know, let's switch to a red. So when you add that water, remember, you gotta really swirl your brush around to get that water to, that paint to suck up the water. You do it a little bit, it doesn't quite work. You really gotta rub your brush around. You don't need a ton of water either. Just a little bit of water on your brush should do the trick. Um, I'm gonna start painting my triangle in. Oh, that's a nice vibrant red. If yours is coming out like a light pink, you probably just gotta swirl your brush more. Get a little more water on there. Now, I'm gonna do a thing where, and you could try it, you don't have to, but I think this is cool. 
where wherever the shapes overlap each other, I paint it a different color. So right now I'm painting this triangle, but you can see how that square overlaps. It makes like a new shape in there. I'm gonna do a different color in there. That's my plan. There we go. Now, you know what? Just so you're not sitting here watching me paint the whole time, I'm gonna time lapse this, which means it's gonna show it and fast forward. And uh, I'm gonna paint the rest of this in. All right, cool. Good luck on your paintings, my friends. Let's get a time lapse going. All right, students, so I'm done demonstrating. I wanna see your paintings. Good luck, my friends. Again, especially if you're in kindergarten, ask a grown up for help, you know, getting your water and paper towels and your, your space set up for you. Um, but let's see some great paintings, whether they're just abstract shape paintings like mine or whether they're other paintings of your creation. The way you're gonna share them with me though is to upload them on Canvas. Um, and we have gone over that. Again, if you forgot, you can go right on my um, Canvas art page and I have a little section there that describes how you turn your art in I'm on Canvas. It's not hard, but you might want to grow up for help if you know you need it. All right, cool. I look forward to seeing your art. Bye-bye.